Hi comrades, in this video I came to you with uh, extremely important information, uh, especially for game development uh, 3D artists, and it's about weight, I mean how heavy your geometry is for game engine. Let's go ahead. And here we have 25 tubes, Y25, uh, for more obvious uh, difference between our result. But before that, let's speak a bit about technical description uh, of an asset when you have to begin your work on it. Uh, usually you have a maximum triangle count for every specific asset and I think it's a bit incorrect uh, because vertex count is much more important. And so I exported this 25 tubes and now let's remove one side and another side from these tubes so this way uh, we have uh, same amount of vertices but only half of uh, a triangle from our base tubes geometry and now let's do another export uh, another test and first we have to delete uh, same amount of triangles like uh, in previous one, but also we are deleting quarter of our vertices. And so, as you can see on this sample, uh, where we removed half of our triangle, total uh, size decreased only by less than 30%. But on this sample, we removed only quarter of triangles and again we removed quarter of our vertices and uh, uh, the size decreased by 40 percent of course we removed some of the half of the uh, triangles as well but we just can't remove vertices without removing uh, triangles but result is very obvious here that uh, vertices are much more uh, important their weight is much higher than weight of each triangle. And here you can see a very simple example of why is it so much uh, important. Two cylinders intersecting uh, each other and sometimes uh, people asking uh, you to do that uh, because this way you have less amount of triangles but you have same amount of vertices if you just weld everything together and also you have a obviously better shading here and there will be completely no troubles with baking and it's only one of many of the cases and now it's time for more interesting stuff and i want to speak about shading and uvs let's go ahead let's take this cube for example Mm, actually no not this cube this cube sucks uh let's go with this one and it's not a cube obviously so for the next test let's make a few exports and first one with uh good shading as you can see here with couple of smoothing groups or uh hard edges uh this uh, you can see them here if you are more familiar with uh, hard edges in case if you work in Maya for example so it's our normal and another one let's go ahead with only one smoothing group but instead of this kind of export I will just export it without normals and smoothing groups and in this case when you import this to your another software or game engine everything will be smooth so there will be no hard edges so that's how it looks uh, on my normal i was exporting normals and smoothing groups and on this sample i just uh, export it without this stuff and here you can see our results it's almost five times smaller why is the difference so huge let me explain you actually it's not very complex in our software like 3ds max maya or blender uh, we can see this uh, let me <clears throat> turn it off mm, we can see every of these edges and uh, it is simply shown to us in the best and most comfortable way but in fact every hard edge uh, of a model in a hardware level is not a hard edge 
it's just a cut. I mean, the geometry is separated in game. Every piece of geometry which is separated by hard edges is another geometry, like this way. It works this way in game engines. So, every vertex here, for example, this vertex is not one vertex, it's uh, three of them. This one, this one, and this one. And as we already know, uh, amount of vertices is much more important than amount of triangles. That's why the difference is so huge. But it's not all yet. And here we have our UVs, and uh, as I already told a couple of times that uh, every vertex is extremely important, it's important also on uh, UVs. In 3D space, every uh, vertex have uh, uh, X, Y and Z uh, coordinates. On UV, every point has only two coordinates, it's U and V, obviously. And so when you have a hard edge, you have to cut it on UVs uh, for uh, better bakes. And uh, a lot of people know that you have to cut UVs uh, on your hard edges, uh, but not everyone know why. Because as I told already, uh, every hard edge is the cut of geometry. It's a separation of geometry and it should also be separated on UVs. For example, you can see here that uh, I've selected this vertex and it shares not only this UV shell, but also this UV shell. So uh, you can see them uh, right here. But on my 3D view, it's only one uh, point. And if you select this one, which is uh, sharing three UV shells, you can see that uh, I'm selecting also this one. Yeah. That uh, it looks kind of stupid, uh, <laughs> but I just tried to explain it uh, as good as I can. And here's our result. Normal is uh, 1500 uh, kilobytes and um, normal plus UVs is 2100 uh, kilobytes. Uh, it is a very fundamental stuff, uh, but uh, it can help you organize your work um, in optimized way. Uh, and as we know, uh, optimization is extremely important in game development. So I hope uh, this information will be helpful uh, for you. Thank you for watching and uh, please let me know in comments what you think about this kind of videos. I mean uh without fancy cuts or transitions uh, and so on uh, in this way i can uh, make videos faster uh, i don't need to waste time on premiere pro or something like that because uh, i just don't want to uh, and if it's fine for you i will make more videos like that next one anyway will be in the same uh way in the same style and uh, i will explain uvs uh how they work why do you have to do something or don't have to do something so stay tuned and again thank you for watching